Eyewitness Weather Forecast. Well, good morning. It is a pretty cold start to the day so far with temperatures that are in the 20s and teens as you're stepping out the door. And this afternoon, we'll end up back in the mid 40s, which will put us right near average for this time of year. Let's take a look around the area. Mountaintop, we're at 26. Mifflinburg at 26. Damascus, we have dropped to 16 this morning. So a good chill in the air everywhere, but take a look at the wind. It's pretty calm right now, so at least we don't have the wind chill going for us this morning. Temperatures are mainly in the 20s elsewhere, with the exception of the higher elevations like Mount Pocono. Pottsville, we're at 24. Seawinds Grove, 26. And Williamsport, at 26 as well this morning. Not much to talk about on radar. We do have some flurries up to our north and further off to our west, and we are watching for a flurry or a snow shower through today. Pretty isolated. Most of us will just be seeing a mixture of clouds and sunshine. The morning commute, nothing really to cause any problems. Clouds and sun, it is a little bit chilly with temperatures mainly in the 20s, but no problems for the morning commute. Going to work, kids are going to school, things are looking good, and the whole day today, we're not really going to run into any weather issues. Temperatures are going to make it into the lower and mid 40s. Now that'll put us right near average for this time of year, a degree or two off in some spots, but a pretty seasonal day overall as the temperature is concerned. Clouds and sunshine the remainder of today, but there's that isolated flurry or snow shower that I'm talking about. It can't be ruled out. Is everybody going to see one? Absolutely not, but don't be surprised if in a couple of spots we get to see a couple of flakes fly through today. But a second area of high pressure will start to build in through tonight. By tomorrow morning, that settles into place, and that means more sunshine to go around as we go into the afternoon. So tomorrow, the last day of winter, not looking like a bad day whatsoever. That high does push off the coast going into Wednesday. Now it hangs out close enough through the first part of the day that will get to keep some sunshine. And a little bit more mild air starts to move in, so we will get a temperature bump for the first day of spring, but then the clouds will increase later in the day Wednesday, and by Wednesday night and Thursday, we're waiting for this cold front to go through. As that does so, we will get a rain shower, a snow shower, a couple of flurries in there. This really won't end up amounting to too much of anything, but it's really the only speed bump we have this week. After that, we're looking to get sunshine back for the weekend. 44 for the high today in the eyewitness weather forecast. It's partly sunny and chilly. The wind at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Just watch out for the isolated flurry or snow shower, and the sun will rise at 7 10 this morning. Tonight we're down to 24 for the overnight low. It's partly cloudy, it's cold, the wind relaxing, and the sun setting at 7 13 this evening. 44 tomorrow. It really is a repeat day temperature wise, but there is plenty of sunshine through the afternoon. Clouds and sunshine Wednesday at 52. That's the first day of spring. And remember, toward the end of the day, the clouds will be increasing. Thursday, they'll have a rain or snow shower at 48. Friday at 46 with an isolated lingering snow shower early. Then we'll just focus on trying to break up the cloud cover. We'll do a better job at that this weekend. Clouds and sun Saturday and Sunday, 48. And back into the 50s to maybe even near 60 by Sunday. And of course, the eyewitness weather wrap can always be downloaded on your phones and tablets to get your latest updates on the weather. And the forecast is always available for you at pahomepage.com. In the last couple of days, it was great to just open up the windows and just kind mm -hmm. of air out everything. A little bit of a tease, I think, because what was it, Friday? It was in the like 70. 70. Yeah. Then this morning, you wake up and it's chilly. Yeah, so. it's chilly. So it still happens. We still have the fluctuation. Mm -hmm. I know there's a lot of people, I see a lot in Home Depot and you know hardware stores that are trying to get their planning started. We have to remember, we still drop below freezing for, I'd say, uh, another good month or so can still happen. So you have to you know, be ready for that. Not out of it, Jesse. Yeah. Yes. All right. Thanks, Stephanie. We'll be right back with.